Hey folks, Quillington here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Monster Train. We are still working to unlock various things. Hopefully we can be uh, melting soon, although it will be a few games before we get there. That's uh, for sure. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll just randomize that, although clearly we do need to get some wins with Hellhorn as a primary. Maybe I set them as a primary and then randomize the secondary. You know what? Let's do that. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, Hellhorned, and then we're going to randomize the Allied Clan, and we're still going to go with Zero Covenant while we're still working on these early unlocks over here, because again, we will get a lot more power and flexibility once we get more of these unlocks done. Uh, we're going to be fighting a Seraph of the Temperate over here with the Sap. All right, that's going to be fine. Um, and yeah, we just have a default deck over. Oh, here we got a secondary. Um, we got. Oh, is this a Stygian? Okay, so Hellhorned Stygian. Is going to be the combo here. Um, we've got all direct damage. Well, some more direct than others because it's front. And that's that. Might be a little tricksy, I've got to say. Not much in the way of useful utility. Um, slay gain armor, revenge gain rage. Now, the revenge triggers when damaged. Here's an interesting question. And you know what? We might pick this just to get the answer. Does revenge trigger when you just take armor damage? I assume the answer is yes. Hmm. In that and rage, but you are a little tank here, but I have to say, it feels like this is pretty good. I wonder if we get Reaper, if we get the option to also take multi-strike. It doesn't just show the same two every time, does it? Actually, I don't know if I've kept track of that. I think that whatever we take, it's going to be offered. We take Reaper. I think it's going to offer us Reaper too. But is it still going to be Wrathful as an option? Or is it going to vary? Because it would be really great to grab the Slay plus 10 damage and the Multi-Strike mod. You know what I mean? Tell you what, I'm going to grab Reaper here. We're going to keep an eye out on what the situation might be. And honestly, if we get Wrathful again, we actually might bounce between these two. Because there's like a certain... Certain synergy also would be really great to give quick if we're going to stack things. All right, artifact, what we got? Incantability, trigger additional time. We've never really played much with encant, and maybe now's the time. Uh, days that move between things. You know what? Let's grab this. Move between, between floors outside of the ascension phase. Okay, does this maybe... If we take this... And we get powers that allow to uh, uh, spells that allow you to ascend or descend a creature. Maybe that's how we trigger this. Uh huh. -huh. That's interesting. It means it's too early to know if we're gonna have any encant stuff. Like it sounds great. I want to do encanty things, but both of these are gonna be very subjective. I'm gonna grab this because we haven't actually really tested much and. Um, we know that Hellhorn get an Ascend power. I think this did you get a Descend one as well. I'm not sure what the card pool is. Um, and we'll see about picking one up because they're they're useful and strong regardless, it seems, right? Um, enemy units appear on each floor. I'm going to go for this because we actually have a lot of direct damage that we can use to trim those numbers down a fair bit. So I think this is going to be okay. And then we'll appreciate the extra money going forward. I mean, we might not be able to kill everyone, but that's fine. Don't need to kill absolutely everyone. There they are over here. Um, we're going to take four damage. Okay, so first of all, we're not actually going to trigger the slight, are we? Okay, I'm going to do this. And this is kind of dumb. I'm going to frozen lance you. That way you die. That way it's going to trigger the slay. Now I have to decide if I'm going to torch this or torch one of these. I guess I would have gotten there anyway if I had a train steward. You know what? Let's do this, because it will... Um... Oh, fudge, you're going to attack first. Son of a bitch. Well, at least it preserves some damage on my my boss here. And I'm going to go and nuke one of you, because again, the rage decays slower. Yeah, this was not brilliant. I've already made a mistake. Alright, but we got, a, we got a round of slay. Um, I think we torched the loot monkey here for the, the gold. That's just way too important. Again, you're gonna get slayed. You're just gonna tank a little bit of damage. Although, I think what I should do is I should torch you so that you still survive so you can tank more afterwards. Um. Uh, 
Let's just do that to preserve a little bit of damage up top. Okay. I mean, we're definitely taking some pyre damage. But, and, and I kind of knew we would, but we're greeting the extra 75 gold, which is pretty nice. All right, I'm just going to torch you, take you out of there. Um, and then I'll just plop down a train steward over here. There's a respite round. Woo! I hit nothing. Okay. And there we go. So you're going to die, and we are going to win the battle. Boom. With some pyre damage, which means less score, but that's okay. We get the extra 75 gold, which should go a long way for things. Now we've got the move. Okay, let's... Unless I just want to commit the impy stuff. You know? Still haven't gotten a lot of imp love. I mean, it's nice AoE, same as Vent. We do have direct damage. Oh, wait, no. Well, it takes this. Um, double damage. Front unit, discard a card at random. It's cheaper. Free damage on Frostbite. I mean, we've seen that Frostbite can do some pretty cool stuff, especially with the right sort of artifact. Um, I like that you're cheap, although it's only one damage. The double damage... You know what? I like this because it can actually be buffed pretty crazily, right? If we apply flat spell damage, it's going to be applied twice. We do need extra creatures, though, this early on, so I am going to go ahead and go this way. Let's take a look at what the extra creatures are. Well, there's an encant ability we can grab. Um, spell weakness might be extra valuable given the nukes that we've got. And we know that we like to do some sweepy things. Um, under the hand, like, encant, it's such a slow build with the encant. Plus one, plus one. I mean, compare this to, like, one of the hollows. The one that, like, gets plus one, plus one whenever it gets healed. Which, in a way, is sort of the same, except you can you can put a heal over time. And it comes in with ginormous max HP. I'm gonna grab you. Okay. What do we got here? Rage, multi-strike... Incant, more incants. The multi strike. Um, do we just multi strike and rage the Silophyte? I mean, rage does mean that eventually, you know, the usefulness of it will go down, but the multi strike on it is nice. It'll apply multiple stacks of spell weakness. I think I like it. And then we may as well give you some damage. Um, I don't think this one's very enticing. I think I might purge a card. I'm going to purge one steward. Only one right now, because we don't have that many creatures yet. But I think it will be an improvement overall to have done so. That's a lot of armor. I don't think I'm comfortable with this. No, I'm going to leave that off. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Well, what do you do? Uh, adds a Sinner's Burden card to the top of your draw pile. Okay, well, we'll just make sure to, you know, kill you before that happens. I'm gonna do that. I mean... After combat, so you're gonna die regardless. Although, I can make it so you don't deal any damage if I just do this. And I realize this will consume, like, ba you know, sort of waste the charge of our of our rage, but no, that seems okay. Alright, we want to go and kill you. Um, we... Well, they're all going to die, right? Because of Slay and everything like that, so none of this matters. I don't know. Here, eat it. Doesn't make a difference. Well, I could have taken a little less damage, actually. Are we already getting a round of respite? What? No. What? No. to send people to this floor, but it doesn't seem like we've got much of a combo thing going on with that right now. If we could do it twice, it would be alright, but... Final wave. Yeah, that was quick. Um, there we go. Eat that. Um, the rage actually could be quite useful. Or, again, we don't really have, um, heals in this deck. Stacking armor might be smart. I think I actually like that. 
Draw deal. Deal five with the offering. Flash freeze. More direct damage. I'm going to take offering token. Because now that we've got that, we could consider drafting some offering cards. Um, unit upgrade. Artifact health. Artifacts are good. We could really use an extra unit, though. I think I will go this way. Um, I'm going to pick the unit and do some upgrades first, just in case we get the ability to add a third upgrade from the event. Encant gain rage one. I really, yeah, we should have taken maybe the incant thing. I've got to remember the Stygians have a lot of incant stuff. I don't know if we need a second one of these sweepers. They're pretty good, though. I like how you're fairly tough. You know what? Let's grab you. That's going to be okay. Come over here and see what we've got. Um, we can multi-strike someone. Um, you having rage generation does make the multi-attack pretty good. Um, I'm going to do this. Now, there's pros and cons here with the rage versus this. Because the original stack of rage is 14 extra damage, then 12, then 10. And then after that, it's worse than just the flat 10. But I'm going to hedge my bets a little bit that maybe... Because we're highly incentivized to get a trinket that uh, retains rage, for example. And then all of a sudden, this becomes a death machine. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do that. Um... I may as well slap a Strength Stone on a Steward, for now. Okay, let's go here and see what we get. Oh, a Tent! To the Winged Hiding, Prayer for Sight, Mercy, Please, Mean No Harm, Last Year of So-Called People, Traitors of All, and da 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 Um, Purge a Unit, get an upgraded version later. Oh! Purge a Spell, get an upgraded version later. Do I want to be really crazy and purge one of the ones I've already massively upgraded? I mean, it could also be a spell, but I haven't upgraded. I'm going to go really YOLO. I don't know exactly how this is going to work out, but I'm going to go really YOLO. Um, and I'll purge the Nameless Siren. Because I think we can live without it for a little bit. Huh. Yeah, it's my first time seeing that event, so I'm quite curious to see what we're going to get. Okay, so now we do have to fight Daedalus without one of our upgraded cards. It is going to be potentially a bit of a tricky fight. Ah, oh, so annoying to come in on this floor right away. Um, next source of damage. Now, that's not a spell shield. I actually don't know how that interacts with our stuff. But maybe I will do the thing where we just set up on this floor. And I'll torch you, and I'll torch you. Not that I'm too worried about the heal, but one less body to block for things. Alright, that's fine. Now, who are you? Encant. Okay, so if I cast a spell, you get stronger. Although, I can just wipe this floor with the Helical Crystal. Crystals. So this is better than just flat 50 damage, at least in this particular situation. I think I like that. You're going to die Um, I can't kill you before you do anything. I think the thing to do, first of all, is I'll just fortify you. Um, okay, let's test this damage shield. Aha, yeah, okay, it does protect it from that. Kind of as expected. Oh, damage shield here. I think what we want to do is double tap this. So it doesn't do damage to us. There we go. And then we may as well put you down here. Because we can start building up this floor. Or maybe we won't. Oh, shoot. They cast a spell on this floor, so it encanted. And I should still do that. Encants be damned. 
Maybe I'll save the rest. I mean, nothing here matters. Like, woo, I frozen lance you, I frozen lance you again. Actually, that may have prevented me from getting a uh, slay on my champion. How important is that to us? I mean, fairly. But, I guess we'll still get some. Final wave, so you're coming in. I'm going to throw a little bit more armor on you. I think what we're going to do... I'm going to train Stuart. I'm going to send you to the second floor. I'm just going to put some damage on you. He's going to have just enough hit points to survive one hit. We don't have a kill as is, but we're pretty darn close. Okay, so there'll be one round of attack against our pyre, but that's okay. So yeah, we definitely... Um, oh! No, I can't. But I can do that because he had spell weakness! I forgot about the spell weakness. That's great. Okay, we'll have to remember we've got an enhancement coming. Reinforce double armor. I mean, we don't have that much armor right now. It would be nice to do this and just stack stupid amounts. Discard your car. Uh, it's expensive. Transfer all frostbite on this floor to a unit, then double the amount of frostbite. See, why didn't we get that last time when we did a frostbite type tech deck? Okay, I'm going to grab reinforce because we might be able to get the sleigh generate armor thing. Um, speaking of armor, you've got a ton. So we could play the rail beater and then reinforce its armor. I kind of feel like we want plus one energy. Which is not what I've been grabbing, generally speaking, here, but... Okay, spells, pyre, money, upgrade our champion regardless, remove cards, duplicate, hellhorn. I think what we're going to do is duplicate, um, duplicate this Icy Silophyte, I think. I'm going to remove this train stewards. The non-upgraded ones. And then we don't... We can probably leave the last one in. It's not a big deal. Um, Rich for slay applies more. We do have the plus one energy. You know what? Let's get them demon fiend. We've never gotten them before. Let's do it. Um, I could duplicate fortify. Or even reinforce. Although I'd like them to be upgraded first. Yeah. Let's just upgrade the icy silphite. Okay, it is still Reaper and Wrathful. Okay, and I'm betting... I hadn't really paid attention yet, but I'm betting it does this where it's always showing the same too. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one over here because of the armor generation, and we're building towards a little bit of armor tech. I'm hoping we get our card back after this fight. Uh, spikes. Uh, random artifact? <sighs> Oh, man, the thorns are going to hurt like hell, especially with our multi-attackers here. I don't think we can afford the spikes because we've got the multi-attack tech going on and really no healing. Damn it, I really wanted the artifact. But I think that would have killed us. Anything resolve, weight of contrition, that's fine. Um, I'm going to put a Silophyte in front. That'll give him time to actually generate some sh some armoring. You're only going to take one damage, which is great. Maybe what I'll do is I'll Offering Token. Yeah, so none of this is going to make a difference. But i got to discard something. Um, you're just going to die to the sweep, but then you'll die. The boss which is going to be okay. So I'm just going to put the Silophyte on this floor. And then I don't need to do anything else here. Okay. There we go. Playing it up. You're already dead. Uh, that's size 
three and tanky. I'm going to put you in front over here. That's going to make for a really nice floor. Um, I'd like you to survive for a little bit longer, I think. 11 points of damage. Let's do that. There was something we said about fortifying on my champion so that we can get more armor for reinforce later. But I think this is going to be better. Yeah, yeah. The spikes would have been really rough for us. You're down regardless, which is okay. I won't be able to kill you. I think the thing to do is to just plop the railbreaker while it's around. And then apply a little bit more damage to this guy. I could put down a steward. You're going to die on the next floor regardless. Because they're doing um, 72 damage. Yeah, nothing else actually makes any difference whatsoever. Oh, you're not going to die to the sweep? That's kind of annoying. We're going to get the extra card draw now that you're in front taking damage. We could ascend you. Actually, that's what we're going to do. We're going to send you to this floor. Make this floor like stupid critical mass for when the boss comes. Purge that away. Nuke you. So it's one less of an issue. You're all being killed. Well, may as well apply a little bit more damage to you. Okay. No stacks on our boss, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to fortify you. Because you're likely to have more armor sitting around when... Um, oh, there we go. Kill. Um, when we get to do our doubling again. There's the reinforce. You know what I mean? Heard that. I will double this one. Although, maybe it doesn't make any sense. I don't know. We'll do that. You're going to throw some of those contritions in our hand, which kind of sucks. But isn't the end of the world. And we are going to kill everyone. So, we're just going to do this to make sure to get rid of it. And then, I don't know, here, eat some spells. Not that it matters. Okay. Boom. Okay. Ascend and die is two. And we can use this against our enemies, which is nice. Summon and gain a bunch of energy is interesting. The Inferno... If we keep, like, clearing the bottommost floor because we're doing an ascend... The Inferno could do some pretty kick-ass stuff. I'm not sure about any of this. We could just grab the Pyre Chomper. Just to, you know, throw it in front, generate, you know, some energy for if we get some X spells later on. But I actually, I think I'm okay with just skipping that. Offering sap all of them. Silence. Discard your hand, draw five. I mean, we have the plus one energy, which makes this a little bit more appealing. We do have some discard mechanic, not much. I'm not sure sap is that critical. I don't know. I really like the unnamed tome. In some fights, it's really good. Oh, I think we're getting our upgraded unit back. Resistance. Surprise to see you back so soon. Wing of my ward. Here you go. Good as new. Liberty making it better for you. I'll take it now. Um, Heaven's Age, Revenge plus one. Oh, is that all? Yeah. Okay. I'll take it anyway. It's still it's still a good addition to my deck. Uh, we've got free artifact, upgrade spells, remove 